How to choose a kitten for adoption. So whether you're choosing a kitten or an adult cat, adopting is a wonderful choice, giving a cat a second home. This cat was given a second home when she was about a year old. And one of the ways that you can go about choosing your cat is to determine what's a list of things that are most important to you. If, for example, you want a cat who's very affectionate, you want to try to take the cat, whether it's in a shelter or wherever you are, and try to bring it in into some kind of room where you can hang out and get to know the cat and really spend some time with them because the cat might be a little shy or frightened at first, but you want to give them some time to come around. So if you're looking for an affectionate cat, you probably don't want the cat that continually hides in the room. You want a cat that maybe starts purring, that seems to rub up against affection and is interested in that. Yeah, you're a good girl. So it gives you a chance to know the cat. If you're interested in a playful cat, you'll want to take something out, some kind of toy or feather or something like that, and see if it's interested in playing. So older cats might not be as interested in playing. If you have kids at home, for example, and they really want a cat that they can interact with, then you might be more in the market for looking for a younger cat who's interested in that type of activity. But if you're looking for a cat to lounge around with, there are a lot of older cats out there who are really interested in a home. So if your cat then just starts to explore around the room, again, you can get a little bit of a sense of their personality. Are they interested and curious and checking things out in the room? Are they trying to jump up on things? So it gives you a sense of how you might be setting up your home to account for those types of activities. So again, looking for the personality you're interested in. If you're concerned about shedding, you probably want to stay away from a long-haired cat because the long-haired cats do tend to lose more hair. Hi. So you might want to go with a shorter hair cat. And if you're interested in a certain color or size or shape, it's really best to leave those decisions until after you've found the personality that you like. It can be really easy to be attracted to a certain color of cat, one that reminds you of your old cat. But again, it's best to pick personality first and then let those other decisions wait until after you've found the cat of your dreams. So keep your criteria in mind and then pick a cat that seems to match that criteria.